Please welcome Dr. Yun. Thank you. Thank you for your kind introduction. Uh, good morning, and ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honor to be here to present our technique of minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy. Uh, nothing uh, uh, disclosed. Uh, this slide shows uh, is uh, nation, Korean nationwide uh, data of laparoscopic pancreatectomy. Uh, recently, is uh, almost a half uh, of DP cases uh, being performed by laparoscopy. In our institution, is uh, more than uh, seventy percent of the uh, distal pancreatectomy cases are performed by laparoscopic surgery. Initially, the spleen was preserved in most of cases, uh, but uh, with the uh, extension of indication to pancreatic cancer, uh, spleen preserving, uh, preservation ratio is decreased. Today, I talk about this, uh, two topics about our technique of laparoscopic DP. First, I talk about spleen, spleen vessel preservation technique. Uh, Professor Ho Song Han, the uh, chairman of this section, uh, reported the uh, successful laparoscopic spring vessel preserving DP in 2005. Since then, our operative strategy of laparoscopic DP was to preserve the spleen and spleen vessels if possible. With the accumulation of experiences, we are curious about the post-operative patency of preserved spring vessels when we compared preoperative and uh, post-operative CT scans, spleen vein patency was not good. In this figure, uh, grade two means total occlusion. Uh, as you can see here, almost half of patient experienced total occlusion of spleen vein in the late post-operative period. We also compared this uh, post-operative vessel patency uh, after open and laparoscopic surgery. A spleen artery the patency was similar between two groups. However, spleen vein patency uh, was worse in laparoscopic group than in open group. Uh, the poor vest patency in laparoscopic DP may be due to different dissection te technique and different hemostasis. Laparoscopic surgery has a risk for lateral thermal damage by ultrasonic shear. And once uh, bleeding occurs, laparoscopic surgery is more likely to perform in appropriate is hemostasis. Therefore, this uh, uh, dissection technique to prevent bleeding is essential. Recently, we reported advantage of blunt dissection technique using ligature. The ultrasonic shear with the intermittent clipping is mostly the commonly used uh, to di dissect a spring vessel. In this technique, small branches should be dissected for safe application of ultrasound shear or clips. Uh, this during this procedure, there is a risk of bleeding, and sometimes clips can slip off the spring vessels. And this technique is challenging in some patients with spring pain uh, embedded into pancreas parenchyma. Uh, in comparison, blood and di uh, blunt dissection technique uh, requires no prior dissection of small vessel branches. Small uh, branches uh, are clamped sometimes along with pancreas parenchyma. I'll show you the short video clips uh, about this blunt dissection technique. The way the lifting up is uh, uh, pancreas, the spring artery is uh, dissected from pancreas parenchyma. Matter approach is better in showing the small vessel branches. And as, as you can see here, these, uh, we don't do dissect a small branch, just apply the ligature. It is very simple and easy. The uh, spleen artery is a contact area is uh, smaller than spleen vein. Spleen vein is, uh, is a more the closely the, the contact, pancreas uh, parenchyma. And then the spleen vein was dissected from pancreas parenchyma. Sometimes is uh, uh, pancreas par parenchyma is uh, clamped, is along with this uh, uh, short, uh, short is uh, vessel branch, and is dissection continued. The beside is a spring pain. There's no bleeding. This is the last part of procedure. Now, after using this technique, uh, upper time. Interoperable loss 
and uh, helps us stay significantly decreased. Uh, spraying vessel patency is uh, improved a lot compared with previous technique. Next, I talk about is our technique of resection of left side pancreatic cancer. Uh, in our institution, less than three, more than 60% of patients with left side pancreatic cancer are treated by laparoscopic surgery. Uh, this slide shows our operative strategy. When tumor confined pancreas, we do this uh, conventional DP uh, until lamps operation was performed for tumor close to postal capsule. When tumor infiltrated beyond the postal capsule, postal lamps operation done. Uh, this figure shows this post-operative view after laparoscopic anterior lamps operation. As you can see here, the prod is uh, completely removed around SMA cell axis, and is uh, retropatian tissue was removed, is uh, exposing left lenal vein and kidney. I show you short video clips is uh, lymphrod and retropatian dissection during anterior lamps operation. You can see a common hepatic artery, left hepatic artery. Limpro dissection is uh, uh, performed. It is a uh, uh, left side celiac axis and splenic artery approach it. It was isolated and clipped and divided. And then limpro dissection was performed around SMA. You can see here SMA. Limpro dissection is uh, uh, performed is uh, left side SMA and continue toward is uh, left to uh, the side of celiac axis. Lymphro uh, dissection continued and then literal peritoneal dissection performed on the exposure of left lanar vein. Left lanar vein is a landmark this uh, for this uh, low end of literal pancreatic uh, little pattern of tissue dissection. You can see here left lanar vein, left uh, adrenal vein was exposed. The little pattern dissection continued the saving adrenal gland. Then the little pattern dissection continued the anterior exposure of the kidney. How can I do this? Go to the next slide. Okay. A, this slide shows is a post operative outcomes. Uh, R0 resection and the number of uh, retrieved lymph nodes and upper time as the blood loss and post op complication were similar between two uh, oper operations. Uh, in laparoscopic lamps group, is a house of stay was shorter and is more patient to receive hospital chemotherapy. There's a uh, survival outcome was similar between two groups. So in conclusion, the blunt dissection technique for preservation of spray vessels reduced the bleeding event and thus it reduced operation time and increased the post-operative uh, spray vessel patency. Regarding resection for left side pancreatic cancer, Laparoscopic surgery is a technical feasible in reproducing open lamps operation in terms of extent of surgical resection to conform its role. These uh, long-term survival outcomes, well-designed comparative studies are needed. Thank you for your kind attention.